Okay. I'm pressing it. That doesn't really help. Oh, shut up. The pills are what I wanted to see. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Hmm. Nothing else there. Okay. So it's unclear what the fuck happened here. He's got a bullet hole in him. We got a bloody knife. Secondhand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Huh. Holy shit! Stay here! Oh my god! No! What the fuck? I did not fucking expect that! Holy shit! Oh! Oh! Cash this asshole, whoever it is. Hey, stop! It's one of the Tweedle brothers. Leave me alone! It's yeah. covered in blood. What the fuck? Oh god! I couldn't tell because the fucking frame rate chopped up. I couldn't tell what I was supposed to do. Here we go. What the fuck? Yo, he hit the dude with a sofa. <laughs> Oh, shit. There he is. Pull his ass. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Did you see that? You crushed his balls. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole! Alright, he's right above us. Whoa! Nice jump! Woo! We got him. Arrest his ass. Hey! Oh my god, he's gonna run again. He's Time to beat the me. shit out of him. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me. Run after you. <laughs> Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? What? My man's dead. I know That's I was the looks, dumbest reason. But I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. Covered in blood. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? What the hell? Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. Bullshit, because I already write the note then. So full of shit. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions too. Uh, subtitle fucked up. Who's your boss? Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd Tweedle be much dumb. easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. The Tweedles. The Tweedle brothers. You almost looked peaceful. <laughs> yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With you an open the fuck out. back of your head. Yep. Just leave me here. Where'd they go? Well... 
After the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. <laughs> then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Since I'm a woman, I know nothing about cars. I can't tell you the make, Guess model, color, options. license, or even if it has four wheels. Trap. <laughs> then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Ah. Panic in the parlors. Whoa, shit. What the fuck? Cab almost hit someone. The Every cab had a jump scare. A on what's going on. Things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I don't know. <clears throat> the guy, I mean guys who attacked me, D and Dumb, they've got something to do with all this. You think so? I don't know how or why just yet, but if you're asking... I didn't, I didn't say anything. I was, I was looking through the options. I don't think they're the suspects, though. I think they're just the heavies for someone. But there was a reason they had blood all over them. I think maybe it is them, because now that I'm thinking about it, remember there was a suicide note. How did he just spontaneously kill himself if he wrote a well-thought-out suicide note? Bullshit. Thanks I for wish you. there was... Uh. Sorry. Why is your head twice as big as mine? Go ahead. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Oh, come on. Spit it out, Snow White. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. Hmm. Snow appreciated that. Know. She it's took just her top the off for you. System. The fables <laughs> who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Hmm. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but. By much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. The trip trap. Maybe you should handle this one. <laughs> yeah. My, my part Maybe of town. Oh, hey guys, there's a hot chick in the back of this cab. If you want to share it with her, you can just go run right over here Maybe. and uh, hurry up. There you go. <laughs> I... Um, just be careful. Please.
The same goes for you. I will. All right. The trip, the trip trap club. 